Robin, you sadistic woman, I freaking love ya. <laughs> hey guys, Shinigami Harry here, and I know it's a little late, it's Sunday, and the One Piece review wasn't up last night, but hell, I may be doing this from now on, I may be uploading One Piece reviews on Sunday or later in the week, because, you know, Saturday nights, I only have a limited amount of time to do the review, you know, because of Toonami and such. Though, in any case, I wanna go ahead and talk about this episode, I mean... Most of it was filler, I think. It showed Ryunosuke in it, they finally named the dragon, and I believe some of his scenes in that episode were filler. I I know he lasted a while in the manga, but I don't really remember him doing all that much in it. I just remember him for like one chapter, only for like seven pages, I want to say. Though, in any case, I know I said it last time, but god damn it, Conjuro. Just give up your devil fur or something. Call Blackbeard someone. I mean, whatever Conjuro draws, just begs to be killed. The bird, Ryunosuke the dragon, oh my god, they're just like, they're just so weak and frail and just begging to die, alright? Also, I'm confused why Contrado did not give that thing wings. I mean, we know he has the ability to give his drawings wings to give them the ability to fight, so yeah, I was just majorly confused there. I mean, I get it, maybe Ryunosuke could not fly them all up with his wings, they all might have been too heavy together because his wings could not carry them all and such. Though, that still shouldn't stop Contrado from making other drawings, I mean, he can make other drawings. He can make more than just one. At least, I think he can. And he could have used those other drawings to bring the Straw Hats all up to Zoe. Also, I want to bring up another thing. I'm confused why Law did not use his room to get them up on the elephant. Alright, I mean, I get. He is injured. His room takes up a lot of his energy. But still, when they got close to the top of the elephant, he still could have used it. It would have made him a little bit safer. Though, moving on, we also know that there potentially is another Wano resident on Zoe. Rizo the Ninja. And I'm going to see if you guys can guess what that's a reference to, alright? I mean, Ninja. Let's see if you can guess. I actually wonder what that monkey was, alright? You know, that monkey that came flying down that Robin said looked like a guy who had knives stuck in him? That came down flying on top of Kinaimon and Kondrado? I'm actually wondering. I mean, at the end of the day, when he was down on the ground with Kondrado and Kinaimon, he said he wouldn't allow them to pass on to Zoe. And I'm actually confused why. I mean, I think it's because the Minks hate humans. If you remember, Lar, someone said that the Minks were a tribe that didn't really like humans too much, so... Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Though, I also want to comment on another thing. When they finally reach Zhao, oh my god, I know a lot of people are going to say this, but Zhao looked amazing. It was, like, so beautiful looking. I'm sure it was damaged, but I'd, I want to see what it looks like undamaged at some point, because in its prime, it should look great with all the luscious life and stuff. And that whale tree, oh my god, I wish I could grow a tree like that, alright? I mean, maybe I can, I don't really know how trees work too well, but... Still, if I were to carve it or something, uh, I don't know. And if you're wondering who did all that damage to Zoe, well, I'm not going to say it directly, but I'll give you a hint. Watch the intro. Though, moving on, I want to talk about the ending. We saw this woman who was wearing Nami's clothes. We saw this woman that kind of looked like Nami. She had Nami's bra, she had the pants, I believe, and she had orange hair like her. And she was riding some weird crocodile thing. And before I move on to talking about that mink or whatever... I want to say one last thing about the crocodile. I, when I saw that, I thought I was watching uh, Strong World because on that island, Strong World movie, there were like some weird creatures. I think there was an alligator like that. Though, still, this person I thought was Nami when I first read the manga. All right, and it may be. I mean, I don't know what goes on on Zoe. We don't really know anything about Zoe except what the minks hate and such, and that's on top of a giant elephant. Potentially, there could be some weird thing on Zoe that turns people into animals. Maybe. And we don't know if maybe other minks on that island exist and force fed Nami a devil fruit. And, like, I don't know, force her to join their group. Though, if that is the case, I won't admit it. That's a really interesting theory, because at the end of the day, after this all, it would be a nice thing to say. I mean, it could actually benefit her in the future in a fight, if you think about it. Nami having a zone-type devil fruit... It's interesting, she'd have the climb attack and the zone type double fruit, which would make her a force we reckoned with. Even so, I have to go. I'm a bit in a hurry, I have to go somewhere. Though, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments section below. Did you hate? Did you love?